Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. So after checking the normality and reliability of the items of this Laggard scale, we need to reduce these scale or these items into one variable on a species that is called reported frequency and functions of learners on language use in class so that we can do other tests based on this composite variable or we call it submitted score or mean score. There are some uh, researchers who would like to use the median of the Lackert scale. So I'm going to show you the two ways. So let's go back to spaces. And here is the Lackert scale and Lackert scale items so we are going to go to transform and then we are going to go to compute variable so as you can see a calculator icon decides this function in the sense that when we click on it we will have set of all the functions that can be uh, used to compute the Lackert scale items into one let's say variable so i'm going just to click the mean from here or just look for it or otherwise i can go here and look for statistical normally it should show yes and then click the mean i can even choose the median if i want so you have these two options so let's go for the mean and i'm going to move it above by clicking this arrow and let's drag those items that correspond to the lacquered scale at hand so they start from uh, this one so i'm going to uh, double click each item and move or have a comma besides or uh, after each item separately so one finger is on the comma and the other finger or the mouse is on the other items so let's double click each item put the comma till we finish the scale then prepare task for or tasks before switching to English. So I think these are the uh, items. So the use of bilingual dictionaries and the preparation for tasks. Because this is an adapted scale, so there may be some uh, differences. And then here we are going to choose uh, or find the name for this. So it is called the whole dimension is called uh, reported frequencies and functions of learners on language use in class. So we're going to include functions language in class, FLC. That's it. So we can even type a label here because this variable or the, uh, this column or this cell does not require or does not allow spaces. So I can choose label here. So let's ignore this for the time being and click OK. And let's wait for the output. It's not going to be an output in the output window, but what will happen is that if we go to the to variable view, we will find the variable that has been created at the end of uh, the questionnaire. So if we double click on it, we are going to find the the mean score of all items and we can uh, even compute the mean score of the whole uh, construct by going to analyze descriptive stats descriptives and i'm going just to move the newly created variable and from options i can choose the mean the standard deviation and the sum and this will compute the overall mean score i can even transform this mean into the z score in the sense that I need to save standardized values as variables. 
so so that a new variable will be created that is going to be called the z-score click ok and let's have two functions at once so here is the z-score and um, here is the mean or the overall mean score of this variable is 3.47 this means that most respondents agree with most items or even express neutrality okay and this is the standard deviation that shows how each respondent differs from the other so this is in brief how we can group Likert scale items uh, in one construct and even compute the z-score and interpret the results by running descriptive stats uh, till then see you in another video if you have questions or remarks do not hesitate to post them below or contact me via one of my social media um, i answer as many questions as i can and see you soon bye for now